Realtors, I'm Karen Cox, your 2019 ARIA president, and I'm pleased to share with you updates on a couple of major advocacy issues that we've been working on here at ARIA. First, where we are with REBA reform and raising our professional standards. And second, the major strides we've made in keeping home ownership affordable for young buyers and families. So let's start with REBA reform. After almost 10 years of knocking, we finally got the provincial government to open the door on reviewing REBA. So why is this important? Well, because the rules that govern real estate practices in Ontario are badly out of date. They were established 16 years ago when fax machines were still being used and smartphones weren't yet invented. The way we do business today has changed tremendously since then. And so the rules that realtors need to follow must be updated to reflect today's real estate market. Modernizing our rules will make Ontario realtors North American leaders when it comes to professional standards. So the REBA Review Task Force got to work. They went through every part of REBA that required a refresh. Then they consulted with ARIA's 78,000 members on their proposals. That feedback helped determine the final 28 recommendations that ARIA shared with the Ontario government last April. And you can find them all at rebareform.ca. For now, let me give you our top five recommendations. Number one, we are fighting to stop a ban on multiple representation. British Columbia has banned multiple representation and it has been a disaster for consumers, particularly in rural and northern markets. We know that multiple representation can work when the rules are followed. And so we are urging the government to preserve a consumer's right to choose the realtor they want to work with. Number two, the government is considering making it mandatory for home buyers to disclose the details of any offer being made on a home in multiple offer situation. This idea would require Ontario's 3.6 million homeowners to sell their home using a risky mandatory requirement that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Ontarians should be able to sell their home how they want. The government should not be forcing consumers into an open offer process. Thirdly, we need to eliminate the two-tier consumer protection and close the builder exemption loophole. Why should there be a lower protection for a consumer when they buy a new home as opposed to a resale? Anyone trading in real estate needs to be held to the same high standards, including builders selling new homes. Number four, REBA should be amended to permit specialty designation for realtors who specialize in property types like commercial, condominiums, and waterfront properties. And finally, we want Ontario realtors to have the right to incorporate lawyers, mortgage brokers, doctors, and chartered accountants can all form personal corporations. Even realtors in six other provinces can incorporate. Ontario realtors cannot. It's time. You had the same right. We are at a critical stage with the review. The province is in the process of making major policy decisions and realtors need to be aggressive in ensuring our recommendations remain a priority. But we need your help. Please visit rebareform.ca today to contact your MPP by sending them a letter expressing your support for the review. So far, 11,000 letters have been sent on behalf of realtors to their MPPs, but we need more to get out our recommendations across the finish line. Visit rebareform.ca and send your MPP a letter today. Now, if you're wondering how effective sending a letter to your MPP is, I can tell you, it makes a big difference. 
ARIA's Keep the Dream Alive campaign is a prime example of just how impactful the realtor's voice can be on influencing policy decisions. This campaign was born out of the struggle that thousands of young families and first-time buyers are having as they go to buy their first home. Rapidly rising home prices due to an undersupplied housing market continues to push the dream of home ownership further away for aspiring homeowners. In fact, for the first time in Canada's history, the rate of home ownership is on decline. In an era of low mortgage rates and a growing economy, fewer people are achieving the Canadian dream of home ownership. So in 2018, we fought to get more housing supply into the marketplace. Our Keep the Dream Alive campaign forced attention to the issue and called on all Ontarians to take action. Our campaign struck a chord. We inspired 20,000 emails to be sent to Ontario politicians. Our Keep the Dream Alive campaign led to the new Ford government committing to a housing supply action plan for which Aria was invited to act as a key advisor. We put 10 ideas on the table and on May 2nd, 2019, the provincial government announced it would be implementing eight of those 10 ideas, including fostering development next to and above major transit stations, Ontario's early 1970s zoning rules just don't reflect modern consumer demand. These out of date zoning rules are standing in the way of millennials, young families and the Canadian dream of home ownership. Secondly, the government has committed to speeding up the housing approval process, reducing red tape and controlling development charges. In some municipalities, development charges add $125,000 to the price of a home. Thirdly, building more secondary suites. Secondary suites are a great form of housing for an aging grandparent, a young professional, or a growing family. By eliminating development charges on secondary suites and reducing red tape on things like parking requirements, Ontarians will have access to this affordable form of housing. And finally, the government has committed to unlocking surplus government lands. Nearly 6,000 government-owned properties across the Greater Golden Horseshoe are sitting underutilized. Freeing up even a part of this empty land can make a huge difference for affordable housing options for Ontario families. We're pleased to see the Ford government has listened to our ideas and that help is finally on the way to address Ontario's housing affordability crisis. For all of the latest updates on our advocacy work, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn using the at Aria info or visit us at aria.com. And don't forget to save the date for the Ontario Realtor Party Conference on November 18th. The ORP Conference is your opportunity to meet and hear from the biggest names in Ontario politics while connecting with fellow realtors on issues that matter to our profession. We also have the Reality Conference coming up February 25th to 27th in Niagara Falls, Ontario. So be sure to pre-register now and get the latest news, announcements, and special pricing on Everything Reality 2020. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at president at And thanks for watching, and I hope to connect with you again soon.